This is the DDS tutorial video. In this video I would like to show you how to display bearing fault frequencies. DDS software contains a bearing database with about 30,000 bearings with information about their bearing fault frequencies. This tool can be very useful for bearing fault analysis. We will be working with a demodulated acceleration spectrum in G units, also called an enveloped spectrum, which is commonly used for bearing fault analysis. Let's add a bearing type which we measured on our machine. Go to the Tools tab, click Bearings and Import. Find the type of your bearing. In our case it is 6224 FAG. You can use the search window to type in the bearing type you're looking for. Select the required bearing and click Add. Now close the bearing database. This bearing will be stored in your database from now on. If you cannot find the type of your bearing in the DDS database, you can add your own bearing if you know its parameters. Close the bearing database window. Now you have to assign this bearing type to the required measuring point. Right click on the measuring point and select properties. Go to the bearings tab and press add. Select the bearing from your bearing database, press add and close the window. You assign this type of bearing 6224 FAG to this particular measuring point. You can also assign the type of the bearing under the machine or general items. In that case the bearing type will be inherited by all items and measuring points below it. Let's go back to our GD modulated spectrum. You can measure the GD modulated spectrum with the Vibrio M. The DMOD FFT properties in this case, such as the frequency range, are predefined and you cannot change them. If you want to have more options, you will need to use a more advanced analyzer such as the VA3 Pro or the VA4 Pro and licensed DDS software. We have measured the DMOD spectrum with the VA4 Pro and we have used the TACO speed probe to detect the speed. If you haven't measured the speed, you will need to enter it manually. So once you have the measured data and loaded it into the data cell, right click on the graph, select Labels and click Display Bearings. The bearing fault frequencies of the defined bearing type are displayed now. We can see the type of our bearing, the fundamental train frequency, also known as the frequency of the cage, the ball spin frequency, the ball pass frequency of the outer race, and the ball pass frequency of the inner race. In our example we can see that there is a significant energy spike on the BPFO which represents a bearing outer race defect. Bear in mind that to display bearing fault frequencies you need to know the speed of the machine. In our example we measured the speed using a speed probe, so this information was already included in the spectrum data cell. You can see the speed in the bottom left corner in the data list. If you did not measure the speed, you have to enter it manually into the measuring point or the tree item above. Speed measured by the speed probe always has priority over manually entered speed. To switch off the bearing fault frequencies, simply right click on the graph, select Labels and uncheck Display Bearings. I hope you find the video useful. Thank you for watching.